All right, and welcome back to a Proto Space devlog. So I've gotten quite a bit done since the last devlog. You know, it's not like the most, but it is It is quite a bit. I'm kind of proud for myself and my own ability. This is the largest game that I've ever worked on or made. And so it feels good to make, you know, visible progress. That being said, the game is the game is very much near the releasable demo state. It's it's I mean, the event system is not perfect. Uh, it is still it's still a bit buggy. It still needs some fine tuning. And I just I don't have the brain space to work on it again today. Um, it's just I've spent so long on the event system and it just it refuses to work exactly how I want it. And I know that's just because I'm tired and I'm overlooking something important. So I'm, the event system is there, and the events are there, and it's pretty scalable in the sense that uh, the events will be read in and fired, or, you know, the events will be read in and shown right here pretty re pretty reliably. There's just a, there's a one bug where it doesn't show after you uh, start back over, but I know exactly, I know what's wrong there. I just, I haven't figured out how to fix it exactly. But, you know, the events are there, like, you can lose science. I'll just, you know, I had an event that I gained 10, now I lost 10 science. Uh, you can lose planets, you lose a colony. So when I click move on, it drops to 5, and the people living on that colony die. Oh, I lost another colony. So final population, 207, 907. So population, since the last one, grows a lot slower, and so does science. I decrease the rates. I haven't quite settled on... Um, that yet it's don't there see that bug it doesn't show up when i click move on it, I, it's getting annoying that being said uh i haven't settled on I, there, this game needs a lot of balance which i am working towards but i'm gonna i'm moving on i'm pushing forward to get other things done um yeah there we go it is something to do with the desert planets i i i'm i'm a bit frustrated because i spent i had to retype it because i use visual studio code on my second monitor and I did a lot of work yesterday and I got everything so close to being like a final working point and I saved it but something was wrong with my uh you know Godot to visual code connection using it as like a external editor and it didn't save and so I had to retype everything from memory it was a hassle um but, yeah, it's okay. I've gotten everything's back together and actually a little bit better than it was then. It's just bad time. Now, the tech tree I'm kind of proud of. Now, this moves slow again. And there's no... Um, the, with the thing with the tech tree is there's no... The costs do scale. So, like, this one costs 10. So, if I buy forward shielding, now uh, micro welding costs 20. Uh, it's not perfect. I would really... I want to uh, add a progression system. So you have to buy orbital construction to buy automated to get these, to get these, to get these, to get that. It... That is... Shouldn't take too long, though. That system is not very scalable, but uh, I don't know another way to do it right now, or at least I haven't thought about another way to do it. I just kind of was creating buttons. But that tech does do something, so... I don't remember which one I clicked, but, you know, it does have an effect. They all have an effect. I mean, overall, that's pretty much everything I got done. I, uh, you know, this shows in high stats, but that was there anyways. If you do click, there is a menu button. I mean, it doesn't pause the game, but, uh, and there is a save function. So you're gonna have to believe me when I tell you this. I clicked save and it saves the colonies. Um, plus the seed of the colony. So long term, I want to be able to, you know, for people to see individual colonies. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll add the ability to name colonies. And so the seeds to each individual colony is saved. The population of each individual colony is saved. That way, I for the save system, you can load back and your progress is saved and everything should work normally. But there is no load system yet. That is... I have not created a main or a, a play like a main menu screen and it's I, I, I honestly I forgot I wasn't thinking I'm so used to just like starting here it, it really did slip my mind but I will get that and I'll finish that to not um, but I mean that's mostly it and this is kind of where I want to kind of continue talking for a bit about my overall plans when I first uploaded the introduction video, I planned for this game to be smaller. Way smaller. 
I mean, roughly, not necessarily way smaller, but about this size in general. I was going to add like 50 events. Right now, there's only like seven events, but you know what? I was going to add like 30 to 50 events. Um, you could play through it. It's going to be a very small game. It was going to be completely free. And I stand by that. The demo is going to be free. And the demo is going to be roughly the size that I envisioned the entire game in the beginning. But long term, the scope of the project has increased quite a bit. I never... I want to add edible, editable events. Or I want people to be able to add custom events. So I'm going to create a system for that. I want to... I want to really expand the tech tree. I want to, you know, like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine event, nine techs. It may, that's a very short amount. That's very small amount of text. I'm actually going to add before the demo releases, I'm going to add more, you know, more tech, but long-term I want to create like a story out of the technology. If that makes sense. I want to, I, you know, like you you start here, you, the story is told through events, but uh, only certain story events will pop up if you have certain technology. I want to make the game more. Uh, and to do that, I feel like I, you know, and this is, I want to say this is not set in stone, but for the full release of the game with the scope as big, it is with the scope much bigger. I probably not probably, there's a good chance that I will charge for it. Now by charging for it, it's going to be like one to $2. You know, but, ah, and again, that's not set in stone, but for now, at least the demo will be free and you can donate if I will have, a, I'll have donations set up on itch, but I, I'm torn on that. I really am because I've put a, you know, I put a lot of time and energy into this game and I will put a lot more time and energy into this game, um, after releasing the demo. And so I kind of. It's hard for it's hard for me to justify, you know, working, putting as much time as I do into it every week without, you know, uh, getting something back. But at the same time, I want the game accessible because really, I just I want people to play it. So it, it is a thing. And I, I mean, I'm really torn. So, again, that's not set in stone, but that is a very possibility. That being said, I mean, the demo will be... Uh, fleshed out thing and i will even i will say i will say after i release it i will i'm gonna take a couple days off and in that time hopefully i'll you know maybe i'll play it a few times try to identify bugs that i missed and from there i will upload a bug fixed demo that way people that you know that just want to play the demo or whatever uh, they can have access to at least a fully functioning version of the game something that's not just a buggy mess I think that's all I have to say in this one. Uh, you know, if you enjoy the content or if you're interested in the game, you know, leave a like, subscribe. I'm inter I'm very much appreciative of, you know, the amount of people that are, you know, subscribing because they saw the game or, you know, that they, you know, they like the videos of devlogs. I just, I'm, I, I appreciate people being interested in it. This, like I said earlier, this is the biggest project that I've ever worked on. And it's just, it's so, it feels so good to actually make visible progress on it. And it, it makes me feel... And I'm excited that people, you know, are interested in it. So, yeah, that'll be about it.